Hello curious people, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to make our very first C sharp class. Classes are very important in object oriented <coughs> programming because they kind of encapsulate data and methods that should go together into one unit, that unit being the class. So uh, for today's purposes we don't need uh, Windows Forms applications, it, just a simple console program will do. You can name it anything like this and you create a new program and while we're waiting for that to load I'm going to tell you that making your first class is great. You see the program already has a class and it's asking whether... Ah, we'll do that later. Um, the program already has a class which is the main class which is the class that runs as the application loads. But here we are going to make our own class and it's going to be a public class called person. And first we are going to make fields which are kind of data stored by the class and that should be the first should be a string with the person's first name and you see how the predictive algorithm is going to offer you last name. That's fantastic. It saves so much time for programmers. Visual Studio is a blessing, I would say. Then we are going to have to have an integer and that we call age. And then again, I would say a public string that should be the email address of the person. Okay, this is this part. And as I said, it's a field. I mean, these are fields. If only I could spell field properly. Then we are going to make a constructor. Constructor is the part of program that runs when you say you initiate a new instance of a class in object orienting programming, especially in C sharp. So let's say here we list what a new class should have and it should have the first name and then it should have a last name and you see the predictive typing helper is just doing our jobs for us so we should uh, close this bracket like this and we should list our field here. We equate. You notice that yes, you notice that it starts with lowercase and then it it is equated to the uppercase. This is where our new class will get its fields from, I mean the contents of its field from. Good. Now what we are going to have to do is to make some methods. Methods are tools that can work on data and in this case Let's make a method to display the person's uh, name and the full name. So it's going to use two fields. It's going to be a public void and then we name our method anything we like practically. It 
could be Roadrunner if you want, but it's best practice to give a name that means something. That when you look back later at your code, you will have a basic knowledge of what that piece of code does. So, uh, C, W, and then you hit the tab. It will run a little snippet that saves you this much typing time. And uh, so the console write line command will write out any text, any string that we want. So, to get the full name, we first need the first name between the curly brackets, then a space, and then comes the last name, and yes, that will be displayed, and the bracket, and basically this is our whole method. Now we are going to have to make an, another method, and this will be to show everything we know about that person. So all the four fields in one setting. So we are going to name it public void and display info. And this will also do the console right line. And there we just list all that we know about the person. So the name should be first name space last name close the parentheses then we should have an age to the person display the age and then we should display the email address of the person email close and that's it so now we have a class with two methods what we have to do is as the program start let's create an instance of the person class as the main program runs when we start our application here we go so person and let's name it person <coughs> with lowercase p and it equals a new person and here is where we can give the fields their content and you see that because in the constructor we listed four fields it is waiting for four fields in the exact order that they are within the constructor. So first name, last name, age is just an integer, so we don't need the parentheses. And an email address, which is going to be a string again, so we need these. And it's John Doe at uh, I don't know, um, dot whatever, uh, com, org, uh, info, what you can type 
practically anything here because it's not going to be checked for validity of email address. Now we can use the methods that we have created and let's first display the person dot you see it lists among the methods those that we created so we display the name and then if I could properly type so it's two forward slashes for remarks So if we want to display all the information we have, we have to use the method we created just for that. Which is down there. Yes. So. Open and close. And we are done. Now let's run and see what we have done and let's see if what we want will be displayed properly because then then we did a good job now it is here we can now rest assured that our program runs, a new instance of the person class is created, the full name is displayed, and then all the data we know is displayed. Thank you very much for watching. If you find it useful, please subscribe to our channel.